All right, so to start off today, we have a fancy goldfish with a buoyancy disorder. Oh boy. Um, so this is a Ryukin fancy. Her name is Gilly. We saw her last about 18 months ago for a negative buoyancy disorder. Now we are seeing her for a positive buoyancy disorder. Uh, we see a lot of buoyancy disorders in fancy goldfish a lot of the times based on their anatomy. So again, you take a normal goldfish and you squish it down. Um, yes, I know they're cute. They are not structurally sound. Um, their spines are crooked. Their swim bladder is usually severely compressed. So they're supposed to have two chambers. Most fancies only have one. Um, makes it very hard to regulate your buoyancy and you're essentially trying to balance on a ping pong ball, which when you have a round body like a Ryukin can be very tricky. So for fancy goldfish cases, um, our office actually has a special package specifically for buoyancy disorders that includes water quality, fish physical exams, and radiographs. So two of you, um, either a dorsal ventral and then a standing lateral. Um, if they're negative, it's a, if they're negatively buoyant, it's a standing lateral. If it's positively buoyant, we can just do a regular lateral because we're not worried about fluid in the swim bladder. Um, with positive buoyancy disorders, either the swim bladder is too large or there is air in the GI tract um, that's contributing to them just not not being able to sink. So with that, we can usually get a good base to see what to start with um, and then make a plan going ahead. So we're gonna head on up to San Francisco and we're gonna go ahead and take a look at Gilly. All right, upside down, always right side. This tank here, got to filter down there. Um, so we're gonna start with some water quality testing. Um, just to make sure that's all where it needs to be. Um, as you saw, there's another fish in the tank, completely unfazed by this. Um, and then we're gonna haul all of our radio equi radiograph equipment up a flight of stairs through a very tiny hallway and get some rads on her. We can compare them to her old ones and kind of see what's been going on. I mostly wanna see if the air is in the GI tract or if it's the swim bladder itself that's having issues. So we're gonna start with that and see where we are. All right, so doing our testing, this is, the nitrite. So this is the middle of our nitrogen cycle and oh baby that is that is up very very high. Um, we're waiting on the rest of our ammonia right now. Um, but here's the other readings here and pH has dropped significantly. Um, at least the KH has uh, bringing the pH down as well. We're going to do a tap water test. Um, ammonia is finishing up right now. I don't think there's going to be any. Excuse me as I try to do this with one handed. Um, yeah, that's at zero. So again, with the pH kind of bouncing all around like it can when there's no KH, um, it's gonna cause your bacteria to kind of come and go and certainly any cleaning can definitely affect that. So we're gonna do a tap water test and see what that's at right now. So our tank pH is at 6.5 with a KH of 34 and our tap is at a pH of 8.4 and a KH of over 171. Um, yeah, this water is definitely buffered up enough. Um, this is a really good illustration of old tank syndrome where I think our water changes. She's only been doing about 10% and not really using a gravel siphon. So I think things have just started to build up, um, which is why I think some of our nitrogen parameters are way out of whack. all those ulcers. Yeah, they turn red and oh, then turn black and then All right, so here we have our ventral dorsal going straight down. And there is air in the swim bladder. All right.
swim bladder. We're switching over to our ultrasound to see what's going on. For fancy goldfish cases, um, a lot of the times it starts with something small. So in this case, it was probably the water chemistry. Fish had a couple off days, didn't feel like eating, and then over time just had less and less energy to try to swim normally and just kind of gave up and sat there. Um, so going forward with this, this little fish, we are going to start with some major water changes. Again, tap water is coming in significantly high in the KH. The pH is 8.4, which is normal for, for where we are. Um, their tank's probably going to settle out around a seven and a half to eh, maybe even an eight, but we need to do some water changes, some major water changes. Um, yeah, we're sometimes going to be a little bit more conservative um, for this fish since she really needs to kind of perk up quickly. We're going to go ahead and be a little bit more aggressive with our regimen. Um, recommended they do about a 30% change ASAP, 25% weekly. And then since there's three filters, we're going to clean one of those every week and then kind of rotate them through. Also going to increase her diet. So again, when you are a fancy, you don't swim that great. And sometimes it takes a lot of energy to swim normally. And if you go off food for a couple days, things just get worse. So with her, she's definitely gonna get more food. Um, she's on a good diet, on a good pellet. Um, but yeah, that other fish in the tank, whoo, definitely been stealing a good chunk of the, the chow. Um, she's, a, she's a round little beast. So that is usually when it comes to our buoyancy disorders. Again, a lot of the times it comes down to water quality issues. Fish just feels miserable, not getting enough to eat and presents with a buoyancy disorder that's really not a buoyancy disorder. Um, again, I took a little air out of the swim bladder just to make her a little bit more comfortable and especially make it easier for her to eat. I don't do that in all the cases. Um, really depends on the state of the fish. So yeah, buoyancy disorders and fancy goldfish. Whew. Um, that's why we got our radiograph equipment, just so I could figure out these cases. Um, a lot of them don't have great resolution, but it's something like water quality that I can fix a lot easier than trying to fix physiology and anatomy that are just, I know they're cute but they are just so structurally unsound. <sighs> All right, on to the next pond. Thank you for joining us. Watch me rant about fancy goldfish for a while.